It's spooky season. Ooh. What up, bitches? Well, hello there. Welcome back to the life of La Senora. Because I stay in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen all day. I'm in the kitchen in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. I'm in the kitchen 24-7. I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Life of Life. So today I am going to be doing a food vloggy vlog for you guys. This food vlog was actually in... What the freak? Where did this cilantro come from? This food vlog was inspired by Maria's food vlog. I wanna say like maybe two weeks ago now, I went to Maria's house because she made ceviche and let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, it was so nasty. <laughs> it was so freaking bomb, you guys. It was like... It tasted better than the restaurant ceviche. I am here today to go step by step with how Maria makes her ceviche. I'm gonna see if I can make it as good as her or better. Today I'm gonna be making shrimp ceviche because I know that there are two kinds of ceviches. There is fish ceviche, which is nasty to me, and shrimp ceviche. I have always been a huge seafood person since I was a kid. Before we get more into this video of how I'm gonna be making this a five star ceviche recipe, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Comment down below. You like fish? Cause I do. Let's get started with this motherfucking vlog. There are actually not a lot of things that you need for this ceviche. These bad boys. Ew, that look nasty. See, let me just hold them like this. I don't even know how to hold these now. That's fucking nasty. You need two cucumbers. So these are a little bit on the shriveled up side because I actually had these already before I did go grocery shopping and I was like, you know what? Let me not be wasteful. So I'm gonna love these cucumbers and I'm gonna eat them and I'm gonna put them in the ceviche because they deserve to be there. Yes. Two cucumbers. Two Roma tomatoes. I've always been like a huge tomato freak ever since I was a kid. When I was a kid, I actually could not eat any of my sandwiches without tomatoes. I actually loved my fruits and veggies when I was a kid and I still do. Honestly, maybe three. I guess it just depends on how much you're making, you know? One purple onion. People call this red onion. I don't know why I always call this purple onion because it looks purple. The fuck? Avocates, you could put however many avocates you want, okay? Because this is optional. One whole bunch of cilantro. This is a lot of cilantro. I guess it is up to you how many serranos you want in your ceviche. If you want to like really, really spicy, I'd probably say like put eight to 10 serranos up in ajo. Your girl like her booty burning later. Okay, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do seven. I'm gonna do seven serranos. This is three. Oh! Girl, you fishy! Close your legs, girl! I bought three pounds of shrimp and I think I'm gonna do all of it. I am so picky with my motherfucking shrimp. If it's those little tiny ones, you will not catch me eating those. I don't know why the f grosses me out. A big old bag of lemons to hit your man with when he's not acting right. <laughs> So I think I got like 15 to 20 lemons. Only because you are going to be cooking your shrimp in the lemon. I'm gonna go ahead and wash all this produce really quick and I'm also going to peel and wash the shrimp. I have my bowl right here and I am going to peel all of my shrimp. I hate the smell of fish. So I always get this perfectly sized little shrimp bed. I'm gonna eat you. Yeah, I'm gonna eat you. <gasps> I think this is gonna be the hardest part, honestly. And I need to hurry up because, you know, if you leave shrimp out too long, like it starts cooking by itself. I love shrimp, like I told you guys, but I hate how they look. Like this is nasty to me. They look like fucking cucarachas. My phobia, my fear is cucarachas. Gosh, I need to freaking hurry up. I feel like I'm going slower than a motherfucking turtle right now. <gasps> this one was already peeled. Should I use this one? Yeah. It's gonna be down below in the description of where I found her food vlog. Food vlog. Ah. Two hours later. I am finally done washing and pinning my shrimp. Now I'm just gonna hurry up and 
and deviant it because this hole has to start cooking in the limit. What am I doing? Cutting board. This is my favorite knife to my man. If you ever dare hurt my feelings. Okay, so I just like do a slit on the back and then debate it. All the caca coming out. It's nasty. I'm gonna cut it all the way to the booty. Cut it all the way to the ass, to the little BBL that it has. I think I'm gonna wash and debate at the same time. Oh yeah, and I put my hair up too, you guys, because I don't want no pelos in there, you know? So, debate and take all this caca out. Dude, oh my God, my man's already texting me. He's probably like, is dinner done or what? So now it's definitely nice and clean. A little shrimp moment. Ew. Damn, I got a lot of shrimp. Why did I do this to myself? Should I be putting this in ice? The shrimp is already looking a little orange to me. Okay, I'm finally done. Look at how nice and clean this shrimp looks. I'm gonna cut it in little pieces, just like how it is in the ceviche. And let me take a look really quick on her vlog, how she cut it. My shrimp's gonna have to cook in here and I hope it cooks right. Imagine it doesn't even cook right. I have it all cut, oh my God. So you should probably get like a long, um, what's it called, sartén, like a long, pan like a glass sheet pan or whatever to be able to put your shrimp in but i only have this bowl so i'm putting this bowl okay Ugh. i don't know if you guys can see my lemons being cut up but they're right here oh my god i almost dropped you guys so i'm just going to start squirting all these lemons in here because this shrimp needs to cook my arms are about to get a workout especially with these hard ass lemons oh heck no my fingers are gonna start cramping Ooh, this one juicy <sighs> squeeze bitch squeeze is it filling even up with lemon my fingers hurt carpal tunnel <sighs> Ooh, that one was juicy my fingers are just cramping Luckily, I still have more lemons to cut, and these aren't all the lemons. I don't know what that squirted on. That's what she said. <laughs> oh Do one more. Oh, this one's dry too. Oh, Vallarta did me hella dirty. Let me double check and see if this is how her freaking shrimp looks. Okay, so that's what you're going to do next is put some salt and pepper. Let it marinate while you cut up all your other produce. So um, let me get my salt and let me get my fresh ground pepper. And she said to salt that hoe up. Look at me, Miss Betty Cocker over here. Who is she? Next time I buy pepper at the store, I am not gonna buy this one. I think that's enough. I'm gonna just mix it. <gasps> my spoon almost broke. I low-key wanna try it. Would that be gross if I try it? I'm not going to yet. I need to cut everything else up. Put a little bit of more salt, some more pepper. Mix it all up. Look at how it's looking already. It's already cooking. What the? F I'm shook. Science. So she said to season it and let it marinate in the lime some more while you cut up everything else. So I'm gonna just leave it like that. Like you can see the lime juice is like right over. Mm, my mouth is already watering. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here for now. And then I'm gonna cut everything else up finally. So this is how I dice my tomatoes. Watch and learn. Slice all the way down, but like not all the way through. And then slice the other way. <gasps> I need to sharpen my knife. Maybe like two times. So this is what you have. Put it to the side and then diced. Literally perfectly diced tomatoes. Everybody probably does their tomatoes like this. <gasps> Let me eat this part. Mm, mm, I love tomatoes. Perfectly diced tomatoes. Okay, so I'm going to put my shrimp in here. That way it can cook nicely. Look at all that juice. <gasps> oh, she's, oh my gosh. <gasps> That's a lot, you guys. It's not even gonna fit in here. Damn, I didn't know I made this much. Okay, so I put it in this thingy right here. Okay, so now that I put my shrimp in a bigger sartén, I'm going to cut my cucumber. So this is how I cut my cucumber, you guys. I literally cut it just like how I cut my jitomate. 
I'll cut it in half and then I go all the way down but not all the way down you know like only take it to first base chill bro just so that I can get cubes like the perfect cubes and then I just cut look at that like literally perfect cubes and then you know whenever I get to the bottom I'll just cut it regular this has just always been so easy and then I'll just cut again as much as I can don't cut off a finger I'm gonna throw all the cucumber in here and I'm gonna see if I need another one. I know I did tell you guys I need two, but like I said, it depends on how much shrimp you're gonna be using. Oh, I think this will be enough. Girl, you looking good down there. Making my mouth water. Okay, this is how it looks. You guys can see it, right? Can y'all see this? So I'm just gonna throw my jitomate in there. See if this is enough. Oh, this is. So I only used two jitomates. I don't know how many I told you guys at the beginning. Oh, yes. This is a lot of jitomate. I'm going to eat this one. So I'm going to cut my cebolla next. I always I always take off the first layer just because that's nasty. You know, like hella people's hands be touching this onion. Who knows how many hands touch this cebolla. Look at that layer, girl. You glowing. Look at this ready so purple i will never understand why people call it a red onion i call this shit purple so i still haven't figured out a trick to cut my onion so i'm just just go straight down i'm not cutting it all twinkle i'm always scared at the end that i'm gonna cut my fingers break it all up and you know what i think this no this is not enough and throw them in there so colorful Ooh, i'm about to cry i'm starting to cry already i didn't even have to use one whole onion you guys damn maybe i didn't get that much shrimp <laughs> my mouth is watering oh boy are you mad i'm gonna cry with how pretty this looks and how smell good it smells this is how it's looking so far oh my god it smells so good and i'm not even done okay so she put the cilantro next so that's what i'm gonna do i don't know why but with my cilantro i always cut off like the ends of the stems grab it bend it and then I just start like really cutting her up. Don't get your fingers. Look at how pretty it comes out whenever you cut it like that. Nice and cut. I'm gonna throw this cilantro in there. Cilantro has like such a strong smell. It like be making me want to catch my breath really quick. I always get so scared whenever I like clean off the knife with my finger. And I'm gonna mix and see if this is enough but cilantro is like you just need a lot of it you know like in your foods and stuff like whenever you make salsa and stuff i'd be putting hella cilantro in it cilantro i feel is like the salt in mexican households okay so now i'm gonna get the chile finally you guys i honestly just want to cut all these chiles together i honestly just want to cut all these chiles together so i'm gonna line them up because a bitch is hungry and i really want to try this already <laughs> And I think I'm just gonna like go over it again, you know, like dice the chiles. When they're circles like this, I feel like they're too big. Yeah, cause look at this. That is gonna burn my butt later. Oh, oh, these are splashing everywhere. I'm gonna get some chile juice in my eye, watch. Estoy muriendo de hambre. Okay, so this is how much I have so far. And this is three chiles. I'm gonna put it in here and then I'm gonna mix it. Honestly, three chiles might be enough. Nah, put in more. So I put in four chiles, you guys. Please pray for me whenever I eat this ceviche because I think four chiles might be too much. Maria is literally a pro. She literally did the ceviche that one day that I went to her house in like an hour or less. This shit took me like two hours but i am gonna put a little bit more pepper just because i feel like i don't see any pepper in here and now i'm gonna put her in the fridge for a little bit so it can get cold you know because <laughs> she's been out here burning up so i'm just gonna get some foil now and cover her up for a little bit she's been exposed for way too long let's see if she fits right in here Oh, no, she doesn't. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna do a little taste test for you. I just prepared my plate. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks, and it looks so bad. So I put a scoop, and I added aguacate and tapatio on top. I can't even talk right, you guys. My mouth is, like, literally watering. Moment of truth. Is it as good as it looks? 
So I like to eat my ceviche with tostadas. You can eat those like tortilla chips, you know. But I just like to eat my one tostada. I'm gonna try it. This is the moment of truth. Ooh, yes. Y'all, mm. better than the restaurants. Mm. Bomb! This was a success. Mm. You guys, that was so bomb. I am gonna be putting down below in the description of which YouTube video from us always it was. So that way, you know, you guys can maybe go back at that one and actually see how she did it. But I did do literally everything that she did and oh my god you guys my mouth is like literally still watering this is so bomb this ceviche came out so freaking good so if you are a ceviche fan or like any kind of seafood fan mariscos fan you guys really need to try this recipe out it's really really good and it was really really easy too the only thing that took me a long time was cutting up and cleaning and deveining the shrimp it was my first time making it okay you know what i'm saying i really do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i do want to start doing more food vlogs and stuff like that because i am a very very big foodie make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already like this video comment down below turn on your post notifications that way you guys know every time i post a new video you guys can watch it i'm gonna get my man's plate ready because he's coming home and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye Quiero dar, no es cuando es tu amor, baby, lo voy a buscar En God just lead the way, baby, yo sigo atrás Te quiero dar el mundo, nunca voy a faltar No creo, me caí, dime que es pa' mí And tell me what's your fantasy, loco